that we did a video about two months ago on Mauritius, but then there was another guy that came up with a video, and we've had some people who've contacted us uh, want to know, you know, which is correct. Uh, this is dealing with the dual citizenship. Does Mauritius uh, allow dual citizenship, or do they not? Okay. Now, uh, we did. We said in the video that it did not allow dual citizenship. We still stand by that. Okay. He stated that. Evidently, if you're going with the residency by investment, there is a um, loophole where they're allowing it. Okay, I'm not finding it anywhere. We, we're looking at the citizenship, excuse me, the Nationality Act. That's what you're going to have to look at. If you want to take the chance and go to Mauritius and spend the time that it takes to, for the residency period, it depends on you know, the investment that you put. Uh, to see if it's going to fast track the residency program that leads to citizenship, or you can take the slower track, it's a little bit longer, uh, which I'm going to go over with you in a minute. The key question is this right here. When it comes up to where you're applying for the passport, I'm going to tell you the government is going to go about what's in the Nationality Act, okay? So he can say whatever he wants to, whoever the guy that told him uh, can say whatever he wants to. And when you go to places like the Caribbean and Africa, and that's where Mauritius is in Africa, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, you got lawyers that tell you the wrong thing. I've had three lawyers down here. One of them spent time in prison. Two of them should have gone to jail. Uh, I mean, it's a totally different, um, you know, uh, ethics in, in people that uh, give you right information outside of places like the UK, Canada. Uh, and you got criminals that are lawyers in those countries. But I'm just telling you, you can't go about necessarily what the lawyer tells you. You've got to look at the Nationality Act because that lawyer's probably in, you know, when you apply for your citizenship five years or two years or whatever it is down the road, is that lawyer that told you this crap, is he going to be around, okay? And ultimately what the country is going to go by is what's in the act, okay? If there's nothing outside of that, whatever he's told you is BS, okay? Um, it's very clear, okay? You can pull up the, uh, just pull up Mauritius, uh, nationality law, and it's in Wikipedia, and you can pull it up. It's real clear. It says that dual nationality is typically allowed in Mauritius for persons of origin since 1995. These are people that are born typically in Mauritius. Listen to this. But it's prohibited for naturalized persons. These are people that are going there, trying to get naturalized. They're get, buying a, a property, whatever, and they're putting the time in to get the residency and to get citizenship they're not allowed dual citizenship, okay? So I'm telling you what's in the Nationality Act. If you want to take a chance, okay, and go against this, I wouldn't advise you doing it, okay? I, I'm, you know, if I hear something you know, later, I'll advise you and tell you on it. But I'm telling you, this is typically what the government's going to go by is the Nationality Act, unless it changes. So also, folks, if you want to legally get around high income taxes, or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button, the right of your screen right here, and you get new videos automatically as they come out. And number two is I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Mauritius would, be, would have a definite, uh, stupendous uh, residency by investment, uh, if they would have it where you uh, where they allow dual citizenship, that that's a I always tell people don't ever go with a passport that requires you to get rid of all your other ones, especially if you've gone with a fast track program like St. Kitts that doesn't have any income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance taxes. To me, it's just foolish to do that. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know they will change the act uh, dealing with nationality. And where people are allowed to get dual citizenship. But I'm telling you, I read it out to you. That's what it says, okay? So if you want to take a chance and put all those years in, and where it comes down to it, where, you know, you apply for the, the passport and you don't get it, uh, you know, don't blame me because I'm telling you what's on, you know, what's in the act ahead of time. Uh, it does have a good passport. You're looking at 146 visa-free or visa-free arrival countries and territories that you can go to. And you're looking at they have visa free the, the Shenzhen countries. So, it, I mean, it is a good passport. And they got great tax laws. They got a territorial tax system. They got everything in place except for that dual citizenship. 
Now, maybe they will come out with something uh, that's more, uh, you know, more solid that's in writing, but if you're going to take a chance, I would at least get a letter from the government, uh, but I can tell you something, the government's not going to give you a letter if the act says otherwise. I'm just telling you, that they're not going to do that. I can't imagine the government issuing you a letter that state that you, know, you, you put the investment in, you go and you can get the passport you know, in two years, five years, whatever it is, and depending on the investment you go in. Uh, but that would be the only way I would attempt to do it. But I'll tell you something, I would feel very uncomfortable unless the act changes and you can get that in writing. Okay, now let's look more at the uh, Mauritius Permanent Residency Program for Investors. If you want to go with that assumption, you want to take a chance, these are your options for getting residency now. Uh, the Permanent Residency Program for Investor grants approved candidates with immediate permanent resident status if they spend a minimum of $375,000 U.S. dollars. Now, this is either in a recognized real estate project or local business. Now, um, let's look at uh, foreign nationals now can't apply for the resident permit in uh, Mauritius by making real estate uh, investment you know, in the country. And that successful applicants and their families are granted full residency rights in Mauritius, including the ability to, to live, work, and retire there. That's a good added benefit because a lot of uh, countries will not allow that until you actually get the passport, but they're doing something otherwise here. Now, applicants for citizenship in Mauritius are eligible for uh, seven years of uh, continuous residency, five years for Commonwealth nations. So if you get the St. Kitts passport, St. Kitts is a Commonwealth country, you can go and apply for this residency program and then you know, in five years, apply for the citizenship instead of after seven years. Now, applicants who invest a minimum investment amount of 500,000 US dollars are eligible for two year fast track naturalization, uh, but there are tighter physical residency requirements that are going to apply for this option. Now, Mauritius uh, Residence by Investment Program is the most uh, cost efficient option to get residency in the country with uh, advantageous tax regime and a competitive business environment. Individuals who invest in the nation's real estate market can, be, can become a Mauritius resident within six to eight months under this program. Now on the, uh, on the 2023 Global Residence Program Index, the uh, Mauritius uh, Residence by Investment Program is ranked 13th out of uh, 26 programs. I really do like this program. In fact, I'll be honest with you, if the dual citizenship um, was allowed, I would put this really, really at the top with uh, Cyprus. In fact, I actually like it better than Cyprus uh, because Cy Cyprus has got a non-dom program. So in other words, uh, getting your taxes to zero is only for 17 years unless they change that program. Uh, they would have to totally t change the tax laws in, in Mauritius because they have a territorial tax system, which is even better, okay? And now the visa-free travel is not quite as good as Cyprus is, but then you're also not tied to the EU, which in my opinion is going to come out with probably a citizenship by investment, uh, where actually a, a taxation based on citizenship, along with other EU countries, I think it's just down the road. I think they're going to come out with the same sort of taxation that the U.S. has got somewhere down the road. And I don't think it's far off. I think it's in, in the next five to ten years. Uh, so I, I really would probably put this, other than the, the you know, the more uh, visa-free travel with uh, Cyprus, other than that, I like this program better, but that's if they allow dual citizenship. If they don't, Cyprus, I would by far put that ahead of this, because I, I would put this as a, a junk program if they don't allow dual citizenship. And I'm telling you, for what I see right now, they do not, okay? Uh, but now... The Mauritius residency through investment requirements are as follows. Now, it requires foreign investors to purchase luxury residential real estate worth at least 375,000 US. And one of the six real estate developments listed, which I'm gonna give you here, number one is the integrated resort scheme, also called the IRS. Villas, townhouses, penthouses, apartments, duplexes, services on property uh, larger than 10 hectares. Uh, number two option is the real estate scheme, also called the RES. Uh, the RES units are smaller than the IRS units and are built on freehold property, no more than 10 hectares. Now, the third option is the property development scheme, also called the PDS. Uh, integrated uh, initiatives of social benefit to the nearby community subject to the tight environmental standards and centered on ecology. Number four is what's called the investment 
or the Invest Hotel Scheme, also called the IHS. New and existing hotel units in which the investor can reside for 45 days during any 12-month period. This really sounds like a, um, a number four would be something like, I would assume, like uh, fractional units, which I would advise you not to go in. That, that's an awful investment. Uh, but I would tell you that uh, if you're going to go with uh, the only really uh, advantage to fractional units is you can stay in a real nice place and, uh, and be some sort of an investment. But I think you would do better buying a standalone unit if you're going to go in something like that. Uh, the Smart City Scheme, which is number five, also called the SCS, uh, eco-friendly living, working, or leisure places that generate their own energy and water resources, provide cutting-edge connectivity, develop smart, modern uh, transportation, and reduce traffic congestion. Number six is a, uh, is a, um, a program called the G plus two, ground plus two apartment scheme. This is where you have a condominium development with at least two stories above ground. All right, now there are some other alternative investment options which I'm gonna go with you. Uh, alternative in, uh, applicants may choose one of these uh, qualifying options for 20-year permanent residence, and uh, they, these choices are intended for general investors, uh, shareholders, or directors of a Mauritius company. Initial transfer of US 50,000 for a commercial activity, an occupation permit that creates a cumulative turnover uh, over a 10-year period. Now, uh, this other option is high technology investors, shareholders, or directors of a Mauritius-based company, a minimum investment, of uh, US 50,000 in a high-tech machinery and equipment for a business activity that creates a cumulative turnover over a 10-year period. Uh, the, another option is the innovative startup investors, uh, US 40,000 minimum investment and a minimum 20% R&D expenditure or register with a Mauritius accredited incubator with a minimum 20% uh, operation expenditure for a 10-year uh, initial residence period. Another option is professional investors, contract expatriates employed in uh, Mauritius, a monthly basic wage of roughly around 1,400 U.S., uh, which is approximately uh, U.S. 700 in the ICT uh, industry, with a tenure initial residency tenure. Another option is self-employed investors in the uh, services sector and registered under the Business Registration Act of 2002, initial transfer of uh, U.S. 35,000 to a local bank account in Mauritius for 10-year initial residence period. Another option is retired non-citizen investors, 50 years or older, initial transfer at least 1,500 uh, monthly to a local bank account in Mauritius for 10-year initial residence period, or U.S. 54,000 over a three-year residence period. Uh, now, folks, these are the options you can pick, but again, it's just dead meat if they don't allow dual citizenship, they don't do that. I would not participate. As we grind in this further, we'll find out if they're really requiring this. Uh, again, they, they, they just uh, had this new program that they revamped. So we're, we'll be learning more about this, and we do do this program. But I, again, I would advise you, don't go in this unless they allow dual citizenship. If you want to know more on this, again, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. You just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right on your screen right here, and you get new videos automatically as they come out. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care.